I felt and my client felt that she was violated. He did what he was trained and we trained him how to do it. We're digging deeper into claims a Raleigh police officer sexually assaulted a woman during an arrest. Today, the chief called the claims egregious. Tonight, we're hearing from the attorney representing the woman under arrest. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley live at RPD breaking this all down for us. Colleen. Yeah, Angela and Marius, that arrest happened back in September. The woman who was arrested for DWI saying while she was patted down, she claimed she was touched inappropriately. Raleigh's police chief today saying that pat down was by the book. So you are going to be transported to jail. It's September 25th, and officers are placing a woman under arrest for DWI at this Exxon near downtown Raleigh. But it's part of this body cam video that's causing debate weeks later. Before the officer places the woman into his patrol car, he pats her down. Uh, do you have anything on you that I got to worry about? I don't have anything. Nothing that's going to focus stick me. Karen Griffin is the woman's attorney. I was extremely disturbed. She shared this video with us, saying that pat down went too far. Given her attire, there was no reason why he should have felt her buttocks like he did, her breasts, or underneath her legs. My client is very distraught over what happened to her. She is a woman who was touched in her mind and in others very inappropriately in her private areas. Raleigh's police chief responding to those accusations Wednesday, saying the officer did exactly as he was trained. To allege that an officer committed a sexual assault is highly inappropriate, highly unprofessional, egregious, to say the least. Can you please start? Step your feet apart for me. Step your feet apart for me. A little further. Both the chief and Griffin say pat-downs like this are protocol to make sure a suspect doesn't have any weapons or contraband. In 1980, an RPD officer was shot and killed after putting a woman in the back of his patrol car during a DWI arrest, and she pulled out a gun. And I'll say searches are not, they're not comfortable. They're somewhat invasive. That contraband um, possibility and possibility of a weapon should be readily apparent to the officer in a situation like this. Video viewed by CBS 17 shows a female officer also on scene of the arrest. The chief says the woman could have requested for a female officer to conduct the search, but that's only protocol during a more invasive search like a strip search. Well, back live now, the attorney Griffin telling us that she went public with the video because her client filed an internal affairs report with RPD but felt her case wasn't going anywhere. Well, as for her client's DWI case, that is set for trial. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.